Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MLHC. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Want to get this one updated here. I um, had a couple of questions on it, um, and overall, nothing really new to report, I don't think, from the last video I did. Uh, but I don't remember when that was, but what immediately stood out uh, is a couple things. The first thing is just where the level of support is that you would want to see act as support. And that is right down here at, uh, let's see, what is that? Triple zero seven. So there's one thing to, you know, want an area or say, you know, that, you know, if the chart's going to, you know, hang in there, if the bulls are, you know, still going to have a chance, you know, and point at a level and say, well, that level is going to need to hold triple zero seven would be that level. So the second thing that I noticed is not only is it that level that you would want to see hold, but so far so good, it is holding strong, including over the past few days. Now I get it a couple of times, the price didn't quite hit it, but I think we can all agree, you know, right around here, the price was definitely well within the range of triple zero seven. And to give full credit where credit's due, the bulls are holding strong, and that's what you want to see. Now, I do realize that, uh, you know, there's a lot of perspective that goes into this, meaning if you're some sort of day trader, flipper, whatever you want to call yourself, and you bought somewhere right around there, and you wanted to sell within, you know, 25 minutes after buying, well, then, yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. But I am talking about things from the grand scheme of things viewpoint. So if I sound crazy, you know, still kind of commenting in a bullish fashion, my guess would be you probably just had some sort of day trader type uh, mentality going into you know your position whenever you got in but again from the grand scheme of things the, the chart is hanging in there now if the price cracks below triple zero seven and continues on down at that point you know the, the charts looking very very shaky but that hasn't happened and I mean like I said the bears have tried many times especially over the past uh, you know couple of weeks but the bulls have continued to hold strong and that's what you want to see now, in the event the price does ultimately get some sort of bounce from this triple zero seven range, where are some of the areas of resistance at? First key level of resistance, and this is the one that I would say you know is going to need to be broken with some good solid volume if the the chance the price has any chance of getting up to the previous highs. But that's going to be right there at double o one four, and I'll just focus on that one right now. That way we don't clutter up the chart with lines all over the place. So double o one four is definitely that near term level that needs to be broken from resistance standpoint. So double o one four key level of resistance, triple zero seven key level of support. Let's see how this week continues to play out. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.